A lot of stuff has happened online recently, and it all surrounds the topic of being a girl's girl, which I'm interested in learning more about because I actually have no idea what it means to be a girl's girl. Well, apparently I'm not one, so I (laughs) guess I shouldn't. How would you describe a girl's girl? I think a girl's girl is just a strong woman. I think it's someone who stands by their friends no matter what. Mm -hmm. Very stoic, loyal, honest, generous, all of the qualities you would want in a good person. I always thought it more like as a rule list. What what is it called? Like girls? Girls code? Girls code, that one. Yeah. Like I always thought it was just a bunch of shit like (laughs) written down that you guys all follow apparently. But I don't know. It seems like a little bit stupid to me, but I also get it. I just don't understand why there's not a guy's code and there's like, it has to be like a girl's code. Yeah. Why don't we all just fucking chill? (laughs) Why don't we all just relax a little bit? I don't know if there's a guy's code. Is there? There's not? I'm definitely gay. (laughs) Like, I think I can't relate to straight people, but I will go over what gay being a gay's gay is later. Okay. Sneak peek. There really is. Okay. Just free for all. <laughs> but for being a girl's girl, I feel like it's because women are a lot more in touch with emotions, and it's yeah. like you have to kind of protect each other's emotions as best as you can. Is that true? I think it's the opposite. I think yes, women are really in touch with their emotions, but I think that that's why women drag each other down by character. Like I think mm. generally, men when they want to settle something get into a fist fight and women try to destroy each other's mm. character. Mm. And I think that that is, that's just how it goes. Yeah. That makes sense. Men like hide their emotions and then they let it out with aggression mm-hmm. and women, they don't hide them at all. But when they do come out, it's like a lot of emotion at yeah. once. I think the strongest, most powerful women are the ones who don't let their emotions overpower their intelligence. Mm. So like when you're in a situation that makes you feel really emotional, wait, a few days before you go after hmm. someone or something. I think that's a really, really important thing that it's yeah. easier said than done. On Google, it says, at its core, being a girl's girl means being a reliable friend, someone you can count on for honesty and support. It says, you may wonder, doesn't this just mean being a decent person? Mm-hmm. For the most part, yes. But there's a reason why the category is gaining steam in the recent days. In the right. present days, it says, actually. I can't really read. I mean, it's basically what you said. Like, it's literally just being a good person. I don't know. I feel like the, the topic has become really popular recently. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, understand why. It's also like way easier said than done. If everyone on the world was good, a good person, there'd be no problems. It's mm-hmm. it's hard to be a good person. Mm-hmm. I mean, a girl's girl is probably hard to come by. Or a true girl's girl is hard to come by. Everybody wants to be a girl's girl. Mm-hmm. Everybody says they're a girl's girl. But... I don't, I don't know. Do you feel like your friends are girls' girls? Yes, my friends are <laughs> girls' girls. I wouldn't be friends with anyone who wasn't uh-huh. truly on my side. All of the qualities I would want in a friend, mm-hmm. they have. And that's why I don't have 50 mm. best friends. I have my friends from home that I grew up with that I know are perfect. I have you. I have a few friends in New York. I keep my circle very tight because I trust them. I love them. They're loyal, honest, perfect mm. We have similar values, morals, all the things that you would ever want in a woman or a friend or whoever. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that makes sense. Do you consider yourself a girl's girl? Yes, I am a girl's girl. I know I am. How so? I would never stab one of my friends in the back. I would Mm -hmm. never drag a woman online or I would never talk poorly about another woman. I defend other women Mm -hmm. no matter what. Even if I think they're wrong, I don't think that there's any reason to be talking negatively about another woman in general ever. I think there's a million things that go into being a girl's girl. And I think just the word girl's girl is such a broad term for so many things that a woman should be. Yeah. I know I'm a girl's girl, so. It seems hard to be a girl's girl. There's just so many rules. And I feel like everybody describes it differently and has different sort of rules they set in their head. Well, I think the women that have rules revolve being a girl's girl around men. And that's not what a girl's girl is. Mm. I would never hate another woman over a man. I wouldn't think for a second about a man. Like if that's not my man, if that's not the man I'm going to marry, then whatever. But is that just you? You think that's a common feeling? No, no. It's really hard to think like that. But I know that God has a plan for me. And I know that one day I'm going to find the man that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. If what I think is or who I think is my man is with another woman, then that's not my problem anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm like almost grateful. Let's say like I had a boyfriend and he cheated on me and I would never in a million years 
look at the other woman, compare myself to the other woman, care about the other woman. I would only be grateful towards her because she saved me however much time I would have spent with that man mm. because he's not the one for me. Mm. Yeah. You say that with such sureness. I know. Thank you. I'm very confident. Sureness of word. I'm very confident <laughs> in my feelings. You really are. And I'm very confident in myself. You really just have no jealousy. There's no reason to compare myself to anyone else because... We're all different. We're all human. We get what we get and we don't get upset. So say if you had a really hot boyfriend. Yes. And you broke up with him and him and I were really good friends. Okay. And then I just happened to sleep with him. Okay. Just, I would be like, oh my gosh. He was just all of a sudden bisexual. Mm -hmm. What would you do? I would be like, oh my God, <laughs> yay. He found himself. He's like in touch with his sexuality. If I break up with him, I don't want him anymore. It's not for mm. me and vice versa. If he breaks up with me, I don't want him anymore either. But you would still be fine me. with me. Like you wouldn't be mad at me. I would never be mad at another person over a man. You walked in my house in the morning. He was sleeping in my bed naked. I would be like, oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And then I'd be like, oh my God, good for you guys. I hope you guys find love and I hope it works for you. What if we were in love? I would hope it worked for you and I would be happy for you and I would want you to find whoever your person is. I want everyone to find their person. Uh -huh. I mean, if he's not mine he's and he's yours, that makes me happy for you. What if you found out he was a bottom? <laughs> I'd be like, wow, my gator is not as good as I thought it was. I'd be like, okay. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, I feel like you don't really give a fuck. That is correct. <laughs> I wouldn't particularly like that. I wouldn't like it, but I would be content with it. And I know who I am and I love the person looking back at me in the mirror and it's not going to change that. I don't think a lot of people are like that. No, that's why I really am grateful that we're doing this podcast because not only do I want it to be entertaining, I want women and other people to get something out of it mm -hmm. especially younger women like mm -hmm. it's so hard to go through something when you're 16 17 and if like every girl in your high school hates you mm -hmm. that sucks it feels like the world is ending even if it's just 10 girls don't like you yeah for me i've had thousands of women thousands of comments i was gonna show you this video <laughs> yeah you can we can watch it on the video okay Everything that makes you not a girl's girl i thought this was like common knowledge but Apparently not, so let's just start with the basics, okay? <laughs> if we're out at a bar and I point out some guy and I'm like, oh, that guy's really cute. And your friend's like, which guy? And you're like, guy in the blue shirt. I think guy in blue shirt is really cute. And she goes over and starts talking to him. That's not a girl's girl. If I've had any sort of a fling, talking <laughs> stage with a guy, whatever, and even after we're done, a friend just like decides to talk to him or hooks up with him or crazy? whatever, that's not a girl's girl. <laughs> what? You know how many feelings I've had? If I cared, <gasps> that's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's a lot. That's you, if you've much. even te if you've even texted them and just had a texting conversation and your friend hooks up with them, you're not a girl's girl. No, it's stupid. It's that's stupid. a lot. How that's are extreme. you supposed to find anybody? Anyone? <laughs> it's so silly. How am I supposed to find a man if every acquaintance I've had, I can't talk to anyone that they've had a fling with? <laughs> yeah. Does that make any sense to anyone? No, I don't like that. I feel like that's really a lot. That's extreme. I think it's more surrounding jealousy, though. It's not any kind of girl code or it girl is. this, that. You don't want them talking to somebody you talk to because you're jealous, not because it's a code. It's just, it's the, your it feelings. It is jealousy and it's like insecurity. I don't want to like call other girls insecure if they're like upset about a man because you're allowed to be upset, but you're not allowed to go towards the woman. You're completely allowed to be upset for however long you feel is right. That is so warranted, especially if you've been with them romantically. Like that is so, so fine, but you can't drag another woman down regardless of the situation. I it's love to drag a bitch. Girl. Oh my gosh. I don't. I right by never. their pony. Just drag them across right the floor. Right by the pony. I think that Low another clubs. element of being a girl's girl is not bring other girls down of course i think that this girl who made that video talking about what is the definition of a girl's girl it's in like a negative light and like you're calling other girls out in a negative light over a man doesn't that mean that you're not being a girl's girl a every single rule that was on that video or I didn't even watch the whole thing. It like made me like it gave me a headache. But it was all about a man. A girl's girl is a women bringing up other women. Mm -hmm. It should have nothing to do with a man. Men are not a priority. When you've been in love with somebody and you break up, you still have a love for that person. Yeah, you can have you can but feel you, whatever you want. It's hard to see that person with another. Of course, person. it is hard. 
And I think a lot of the girls girl thing revolves around this. It's like an emotional feeling about mm. somebody you've dated or talked to or like it is very emotional. The rules on what you can and can't do with that person. I think it is very emotional and I think women are very emotional and I think that's a beautiful thing and it's a beautiful trait that women have. In general, I can't speak for all women, but I, I think I'm very emotional for a woman. I think the most powerful thing a woman can do is to never let her emotions overpower her intelligence. Yeah. If more women did that, less women would be dragged. <laughs> Do you find yourself in situations like girls, girls, gays, gays? Is there a rule? Is there gay Are code? There rules? Gay code? <laughs> what is it? Tell no, us. No, there is fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's why we get along so well. I think that there's different rules throughout every different kind of genre of a gay man i think there's really slutty gays okay. which are a lot Where of do them you place yourself <laughs> I don't on know. the scale of, of one, one to slutty to slut. <laughs> <laughs> of one to i don't particularly think i'm very slutty at all um, no you're not you're perfect yeah totally they, boys love you though <laughs> oh my gosh i think that i'm not super promiscuous and slutty in, in you're not in terms of like in the gay world i mean like honestly if you ask most gays they'd be like yeah sure date my ex-boyfriend yeah Fuck him do whatever you want with him yeah and actually we can all go on vacation together too yeah literally <laughs> like i have a friend that went on vacation with yeah, his ex-boyfriend and his ex-boyfriend's new boyfriend like that's how that's how yeah. intermixed everything gets and nobody gives a fuck yeah i think that it's good not to care if that's not your person it's not your person yeah and if you're comfortable with that then like i love that yeah it's just so polar opposite from the straight female world yeah all these things where i talked about are just completely not a thing for us like yeah well, I, that's why i'm having even a hard time relating to like what we're talking about today i have no context of what it's like to be a girl's girl where it's like being the like friends with girls i have mm -hmm. no girlfriends besides like you besides maybe the, two other people i've always kind of avoided females <laughs> like in the mm -hmm. friend realm of my life because i'm I mean, honestly, a lot of it has to do with me being like very honest and like too honest. A lot of the times, yeah, my friends, like I I've, take I've upset a lot of girls in my past and been like way too critical. And I find that men take that a lot better. So I'm very removed from the topic, but it's interesting learning about it because I didn't think it was that serious. It's but interesting entire, learning about it for me as well because I don't <laughs> care. I'm sorry. The entire internet seems to care about this topic that I never even knew it existed. Like people deeply care about it. Um, but. Sophia, mm -hmm. obviously this topic comes up because of the drama surrounding you and this girl, Hallie. Beep. <laughs> don't say her name. I don't want her to get any. Hallie, 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 Hallie. Everybody's going to know who it is anyways. It's like, whatever. So she made a video about you. Ten videos. Saying that you weren't a girl's girl. We're obviously not here to bash her today. I don't give a fuck. I don't even know who she is. Neither do I. I mean, I've seen her videos, but I don't know who, who she is personally. I've met her a total of maybe three times. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Spoke to her one-on-one, -on -one, never. Yeah. And so she claims that you're not a girl's girl. I found the whole thing interesting because I felt like her making videos about you not being a girl's girl made her not a girl's girl because she was bashing another girl, which is kind of like part of the girl code to not do that. Yeah. And to be like... Also knowingly going online, calling me a the B word, which I think is one of the more the vile things you could say. You to can't say bitch now? I don't like profanity, honestly. It just so, it sounds bitch, gross when I say it. Ass. Also, it doesn't flow <laughs> when I say it. Okay, we're getting off time. But like, I like, whenever I curse, it doesn't work. I don't know how it flows when you say it. Anyway, bitch. she called me that, flipped me off on the camera, her and all of her friends, and. Flip you off? Like, she used her middle finger. Like, yeah. Like this one? Yeah, that one. My with God. like multiple girls and then called me all this stuff, made 10 videos and a podcast, making up these little details that just never happened, knowing that I was going to get so much hate for making up this story. It's just like drama that didn't have to be drama over yeah. a man towards a woman. And now I'm getting called all of these crazy things I mean, that just, are just untrue. From your perspective, how did things differ from what she explained the circumstances as? Like, what did she lie about? <laughs> Is that the question? Everything. She said we were friends. She's on social media. She posts every single detail of her life. Is there a picture of us together? I don't even know. I mean, we're not friends, so that's number one. Should I just say everything that she's lied about? No, I mean, we don't, I don't get think too I care. specific, but people have attacked you for like... Yeah. 
I don't being think a this- whore and a bitch, <laughs> but like what you experience differ from what she thought was happening. I think that she worked off of emotion and it was just completely wrong. I don't I don't know like what you want me to say. I think people would still look at you even after all you've explained today and say, well, she shouldn't have dated her ex-boyfriend. Okay. I don't know who this girl is. I was never friends with her. <laughs> what do you, I can't date but any she acquaintance. she bought you shots. She didn't buy me a shot. <laughs> she bought a round of shots for six people. And then I bought the next round. I literally was like, wait, didn't I buy shots the next morning? And then I looked at my <laughs> bank account and I was like $70 at the Spaniard. She bought a sh- round. I bought a round. None of that happened. Nothing that she said was true. And that's why I was so content with all this hate because I know myself and I know that I'm right. I know that I did nothing wrong. I'm glad it happened to me because I know I can handle it. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I don't want this to happen to other women. I'm sitting here giggling because like, I don't want this to be a drama podcast. It's not it, a drama. It's no, so, I, and I, these things are so funny to me. Like, it's so, <laughs> it's such a silly topic. Like, yeah. I'm talking about this, like, what, 22 year old girl who, like, made a stupid video online about you. Also, I think it's so funny. Sophia, this is the most, the funniest fucking thing I that's ever happened. I thought it was funny happened. too, because I kind of thought it was a joke. <laughs> I, I thought she was kidding. I was like, I, she texted me in the morning and I didn't have her number. I was like, who is this girl? Like, <laughs> anywho, doesn't matter. I think that this is a good <laughs> situation to talk about because i think it's very relatable because it happens yeah. to all women on different scales and Wait, i think we can't move on yet though we can't move on yet. oh god i think the funniest part of all this has been the hate comments i read them to sophia on <laughs> the regular just, like, crack up. also to hallie um thank you for doing all this because it has been the joy of my <laughs> Yeah, the we've been joy laughing. of the giving season for me. Like, yeah. I remember the first time Sophia called me and told me that what was happening. We I were just was crying, hysterically, laughing. <laughs> hysterically we were laughing. like, what is going on? Who is this girl? Like, what's happening? Like, I love this shit. It was like the first day too. It was like when we should have been upset. And we were just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, who is, what is going on? And then at this point, like, just say my name online. If you're going to use me for views, just uh, like yeah. say it. And then I was just telling her, like, let her get her bag, Sophia. She's just trying to make a living on social media. And also, I just think it's so funny because, like, she continuously posted videos for so, like, so many videos. Yeah, because she's making money, Without me saying anything. Like, girls were just talking to themselves. Like, and I was, like, waking up, go to the gym, hanging out, hang out Brad. (laughs) Let me get a drink. Before I read these comments, if anybody else (laughs) wants to start any beef with Sophia, you're totally welcome. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more for me to get upset. So keep it coming. Okay, so people said, we'll start off slow. Throwing tomatoes. Apparently, that's like a new thing people say. Unfollowed. Oh, no. (sighs) The least girls grow up move ever. Oh, no. I'm so not upset about any of these comments because I know everything is Just unfollowed you. (gasps) (gasps) Sophia like court. More like Sophia LeCunt. I thought that was kind of fire. That one's, yeah, that one's my favorite Good. of all. I call her Sophia LeCunt now. Uh, it's a big word in the gay community and I ally. It's a very oop, ally word. Oop, deleting comments. I would never delete a comment by the could way. Have been the most, could have been the most you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> she ate with that. You're getting dragged on TikTok. Oh no. Wait, I want to read my mom's comments because this is what really made me mad. Or this is the only thing that made me mad. <laughs> Listen to this. You have a really cruel and backstabbing daughter. Did you raise her like that your daughter needs therapy you should have raised your daughter better spreading stds around the city <laughs> on my mom's instagram as if and also I'm the, I'm the most ate. prude woman they, in this darn city they ate with that one i they love did. it this is the joys of drama online honestly it brings me so much happiness back to the topic we came here for being a girl's girl this girl shitting on your life and makes her not a girl's girl also maybe you're i can see why she would be upset doesn't mean she had to take it online or say anything directly to you you can be upset in your own space right. but also she can post whatever she wants at the end of the day right yeah nobody's wrong here and nobody's right i also don't care that's one big part yeah, of that's it the thing, that's the whole gist of the story you guys broke up you're not gonna get married i went you on can't blame her one day yeah, yeah she can care she, she can, can care. care i don't she care. Can care as much as she wants she can care actually her caring was but- very I liked that. That was my favorite part. Yeah. We're, Honestly, like, we were, we were FaceTiming and we are like, oh my God. Her, if she didn't care, I would have been so bored. Ugh, same. But also, no, I'm just are kidding. we the villains? Are we the problem? No, I'm not. I also think it's just a really, really good situation to talk about as a woman and how to handle something. I would never send my energy towards someone that doesn't deserve it. I don't feel the need to defend myself online when I know something's not true. I know what's right. I know what I did is, was totally fine. None of this stuff matters to me. People can say whatever they want. People can lie about me all they want. People can 
twist a narrative all they want. It's going to happen. It is what it is. It happens mm-hmm. on every scale. It happens in high school. People lie about you in high school. People say they did this with you, that, whatever. This has happened to me before on a much smaller scale. It happens to so many women. It is what it is. Keep your head up. Handle it like a woman. Get out of bed. Don't sulk. Don't read every comment and cry. Go throughout your day just how you would any other day. No one's going to care in a day. No one's going to care in a week. No one's going to remember in a month. And be a whore if you want to be. Do whatever you want. You're the main character in your own world, (laughs) your own movie. Do whatever. (laughs) Cry online. Don't cry online. (laughs) I don't know. The world feeds on women against other women. And it's sad and disgusting and vile. And Mm. I think it's such a gross thing, but it just is what it is. And people love to pin two women against each other, especially two gorgeous stunning popular women smart so i mean it just is what it is and that's what's going to happen unfortunately and it shouldn't be that way but it is but you need to handle yourself like a woman in every situation so i think i did a pretty good job at it yeah i think you did a great job not commenting back i didn't comment on one thing i just don't put my energy towards something that doesn't deserve it whether it's a man whether it's a friend whether anything I feel that. Amen. You don't put your energy towards things that don't deserve it either. No, I just put my energy towards Uh hot men. (laughs) Good. And making money. (laughs) Good. Good. That's it. That's a wonderful way to live. That's literally it. That is a wonderful. And my dog. Oh, Saya, baby. (laughs) Pinning women against other women is done by society in a whole. Mm -hmm. But like, I feel like women don't do a lot to stop that. They don't do it. They They, they still are the ones who start the drama. Like pertaining to pop stars. I know a lot about pop stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time there's a new rapper, like a new popular female rapper, Mm. like Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, like they're always pinned against each Uh other. I don't think anybody was going to make that correlation or care until you guys brought it up. Exactly. And it's a lot of females bringing it up. Women are always pinned against each other and it's sad. It It is just the way the world works. I don't know how to fix it. It is insane. People do it on all scales, like with Selena and Haley. Yeah. Haley has been married to a man for years now and it's still a topic about Selena. Selena, it it's Selena. Sad. Stop pinning two women against each other. Stop but you it. You gotta keep an eye on Selena. You gotta keep an eye on Selena. <laughs> oh, no, You gotta keep, keep an, an eye. eye on her, though. I mean, rare beauty. <laughs> it's not bad, but Rhodes Gray, too. <laughs> I was pinning it. That means against each other. <laughs> they're both great in their own worlds, and they, yeah. they are just different women. I don't know why it's a topic. It it's kind be. of weird because men are very competitive, but for some reason, you don't see men doing the same I kind of thing it. publicly to each other. I don't think I've ever heard of an instance of a guy, actually, no, like Jake Paul and Logan Paul, like with their dating the same girl at some point. I think that was like a whole thing. I had and they no hated idea each other happened. because of it. So I guess that's the only instance I can think of like publicly online that a man got mad at another man for dating a girl. Okay, that sounds like they were just making money. Their whole <laughs> that thing. That sounded yeah, like a big money Their whole right thing there. is just like making money. So like, I don't think anything they did online was real. But I really can't think of a huge public instance where like men were pinned on each other except for like wrestling <laughs> and like <laughs> like sexually and you know <laughs> i i know i can't think about it either and that's what the world does the world just loves women against women they don't care about men against men and i think that the only thing we can do is like become stronger women individually yeah so it doesn't happen as much and like not feed into it as a woman from everything i learned today from you it seems like in this particular case you or more of the girl's girl. Because that is very kind of you, you did say. not say anything to this girl publicly. You did not shame well, her. Not. You I could mean, have. Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. I don't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not. Honestly, I'm not. I'm just kind of describing the situation that went on. So other women that go through this. Yeah, but you didn't can start learn. it. You didn't start it. I literally did nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Well, I don't think you're like, I think you did go out with her ex-boyfriend. I did. I her mean, ex-boyfriend. That could be considered something wrong. It's not, though. To this girl, it could be. Well, to her, it was considered wrong. Right. But you guys have different standards of, of right and wrong. Like, and that's fine. But like, I don't think anybody's right or wrong. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm really, really happy to talk about situations like this. I just know... It happens to everyone. Mm. And I want women to stop it. Stop. Stop. And just like carry themselves like a true woman. Head up. Tits up. 
All of it. Yep. Well, Sophia, that was enlightening. I'm glad. I, I hope I hope that people learned something. <laughs> that was very entertaining for me. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was informational. <laughs> I hope people got something out of it, learned something I'm sure maybe. They did. And everybody can check out our podcast on every platform that <laughs> has podcasts like can. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, mm-hmm. anything else you can think of will be there and there'll be a visual version if you're not already watching it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So check out the visual version there. And Brad is so handsome. You got to watch yeah, it. You got to just Sophia look at him in the so eyes. so pretty and um, mm. yeah, you just got to watch her. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> and there will be a new episode every single Thursday. So check it out.